How can you lower your levels of stress and anxiety with your breath? This is a question I get all the time. And in this video, I wanna share a few simple insights about the breath and the way that anxiety works in your body so that you can start to hack into your anxiety with your breath. So the first thing that we need to understand is that when you feel anxious or when you feel stressed, very often we experience this mainly in our head. So there's rampant thoughts, very active mind, projecting into the future, thinking of all these worries or doubts and things like this. And sometimes if you're a little bit more aware, you'll notice that anxiety also manifests itself as a physical sensation in your body, an elevated heart rate. Uh, you feel that your senses are a little bit more open and a constant feeling of like not being at ease. Now, from a nervous system perspective, the way I describe anxiety is like your subconscious is constantly looking over its shoulder. It's the whole time it's like, am I safe? Am I safe? Is there anything else that I still need to do? So for example, constantly checking your phone Often this feels relaxing to anxious people, right? So let me just scroll on my phone and see what's up in the world. And this gives you a feeling of release from your anxiety in a way because your brain wants your, your nervous system, your primal hunter-gatherer nervous system wants to know, am I safe or not? And doing quick check-ins on your phone is like getting mini drug hits of like, oh, okay, I know a little bit more about my environment. I know what's going on. Uh, I've seen this thing. I've seen that thing. And then for a second, you feel a little bit better. And then you put the phone away again. And slowly, the feeling starts to creep up again. Now, using your phone or scrolling or watching shows on Netflix or, you know, eating food or smoking weed or whatever it is to dampen your anxiety is, of course, a way of moving out of the anxiety. It is running from it. And the first and most important thing that I believe we should do is turn our awareness towards it. So instead of trying to numb it or run away from it, turn towards it inside yourself and ask yourself, wait, what state am I in? If you catch yourself in your head, if you catch yourself having scrolled your time away for 30 minutes uh, and suddenly you snap into the moment and you go like, hey, what's going on? Um, I'm still not feeling better, right? Or I feel a little bit better, but now I want to scroll on my phone or, or have that little drug hit of whatever it is, a Netflix show or your food or uh, alcohol or a cigarette again. In that moment, that should be a signal where you go, hey, hold on a second. There might be something going on on a deeper level. Because when you find yourself, when you catch yourself in these moments, what you need to do is tune in with your body. It is your body that is producing the anxiety, right? So this is kind of like a bottom up thing where in your nervous system, there is a sense of unsafety and then signals are being sent up to your brain that basically say, hey, go out and make sure uh, stay on the lookout, you know, make sure you're safe, uh, seek external uh, numbing or seek some external validation on social media that you're actually fine, these kinds of things. Now, of course, these things don't really help, but hey, that's that's how we're generally uh, tuned or programmed uh, to behave. So the first step is become aware of it and then turn towards it, which means turning towards your body, looking inward, maybe closing your eyes, checking in yourself. Okay, what am I really feeling right now? And you might actually feel that your heart rate is slightly up. There's a kind of like a cramp, almost claustrophobic feeling in your body. So when you notice this, there's a few very simple things you can do with your breath. When you find yourself scrolling your time away, worrying about the future, laying awake at night, thinking about everything that could possibly go wrong, or just having this general sense of unease. To all of these things, there's a very simple antidote in the breath. And that is, first of all, your exhale. Controlling your exhale is one of the fastest and most effective ways to start to stimulate your vagus nerve. Now, if you don't know about the vagus nerve, uh, the vagus nerve is kind of a super highway within your body that has an influence on every organ, on your entire state of being, the extent to which you can digest your food, the extent to which your heart rate is either up or down, uh, your immunity, it controls a lot of different things. And it's part of the parasympathetic nervous system. And the parasympathetic nervous system as a whole does all of of the functions that have to do with recovery, with relaxing, and with optimal resting functions of your body. So if you find yourself in a state of anxiety and you have this heightened sense of awareness and stress, you're constantly looking to your surroundings for some way out, right? There's a clear sign of the flight state, which is part of the fight flight system, which is the sympathetic nervous system, right? So lots of talk, but it is actually very, very simple. Basically, what you do is you take a nasal inhale. That's where it starts because the quality of your inhale is actually very important. Uh, but 
after you've taken this nasal inhale, you start to slow down your breath. And in the beginning, you'll find that probably your chest, your shoulders move up a little bit when you're feeling anxious. This is fine, don't worry about this now. So you just inhale through your nose. And then through pursed lips, where you imagine that you have a straw between your lips, you start to blow the air out as slowly as possible. Now, in the beginning, this might be very short. In the beginning, you might even, if you're properly anxious or even panicking a little bit, in the beginning, you might want to take a big breath and then really blow with force against your lips because a lengthened exhale combined with some kind of resistance, some kind of force on the exhale, that is the way to get this parasympathetic nervous system active, right? So you inhale through your nose and you blow and at the end of that exhale, where it kind of naturally ends, you blow out the last bit of air out of your lungs. <sighs> it's kind of almost like you cough, you cough it out. You go <laughs> like that, right? You push out this last little bit of air. Then you take another nasal inhale. And now in the second and the third and the fifth time you do this, because it only takes three to five breaths, you start to also focus on breathing through your nose into your belly, so low into your body. Right? In the beginning, it might be difficult. So like I said, don't worry about it in the beginning. So the first thing you might just go... <sighs> like that and you slowly start to relax push out the air okay a little bit more controlled nasal inhale that's better okay now you'll find yourself having more control over the exhale maybe close your eyes start to listen to your body and at the end again blow it out even calmer inhale deep into your body not too much movement in the chest and the neck anymore and again blow it off I'm even noticing the effects right now. It's great. It's so effective, right? So once you start to learn how to control your inhale, then every single time when you feel this anxiety or this stress creeping up, just create a little anger for yourself, right? So every time you notice yourself doing the thing you don't want to be doing, you catch yourself scrolling on your phone and going for a cigarette, having too many snacks, or just worrying and doubting and or this, this constant feeling of looking over your shoulders, if you catch yourself doing that, it means that a subconscious part of you, your sympathetic nervous system, has become activated and has sent signals up to your brain to go, hey, look for danger, right? So if you start to think your way out of it, doesn't work, it is your body that does this subconsciously. Once you notice this, turn towards the anxiety, not away from it. And turning towards it simply means asking your body, hey, what's up? Why are you sending these signals? And then you start to tell your body, hey, it's going to be okay. I've got a tool for this. We're going to stimulate the vagus nerve by controlling the exhale. Inhale through your nose and slowly start to lengthen your exhale all the way out as long and as long as you can. Now, if you do three to five of these lengthened exhaled breaths that might take you a minute in the beginning, or two minutes, and as you get better, it might take you three minutes, but that also means that you need less of it, right? So for a lot of people who practice this, they find themselves getting to a point where as soon as they feel the anxiety or this cramped feeling coming back up, they just take one big breath into their belly through their nose, filling all the way up, and then as slowly as they can, lengthening it out, and go, hey, wait, I'm a little bit less anxious or I'm way less anxious right now, all right? So that's how simple it can be. Just lengthen your exhale and see what it does for you. If you try this, let me know in the comments how it goes and what it did for you. Make sure to subscribe and to like, and then I'll see you in the next video.